Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is really special. We have episode 900. Uh, wow, that's such a, you know, insane a number. And uh, what we have here is a really special beer. This is Rusty Nail, the Rusty Nail uh, from Fremont Brewing. And this is courtesy of Matt. Thank you so, so, so much. This is a very limited release from them. And uh, for him to donate a bottle is absolutely insane. So uh, pretty much this is, uh, starts off as a first, nail, uh, first Nail, which is an imperial stout brewed with cinnamon, licorice, smoked barley. And then this beer, to become the Rusty Nail, sits in 12-year-old bourbon barrels for 15 months. And look at that gorgeous label and wonderful wax shop. <laughs> Love that uh, big piece of wax just hanging down. Uh, really excited to sharing this bottle tonight. So really excited to bring this in. And the Warthog is doing a great job. Pull that off with the wax, no problem. So let's dig in. Oh, wow. The pour is pitch black. Look at that, guys. I mean, I could probably see a little bit brown uh, with, with the uh, great lighting I have here. But that is a dark, 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 dark 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 beer uh beer is pitch black in the glass as, as obvious and you can see that really dark brown head on that uh let's get the rum on this one. Oh man come on wonderful bourbony sweetness um has this wonderful like you know again a little bit like bourbon county but there's just wonderful cohesive kind of combination of vanilla chocolate bourbon um it just exudes what you want a bourbon barrel aged out to smell like mm. as you dig in there's a little bit of a, a touch of smoke there's a little bit of this bright cinnamon character. Mm, yeah, really nice. It's like thick and chewy, chewy chocolate, but there's a sprinkling of like spicy kind of cinnamon in there. Mm, dark fruit. There's plums. There's sweet, sweet raisin. A really rich kind of like underlying like caramelly, butterscotchy kind of sweetness uh, sticking um, on the aroma. And then there's just, uh, yeah, there's just really bright kind of uh, cinnamon and it matches this kind of like bright dark fruit kind of note. Uh, again, big plums and raisins. And the smoke in the back, cheers, it smells amazing. <laughs> That's awesome, wow. Damn. That's so good. A very decadent beer for sure though, very sweet, I'll say that. So, uh, the beer jumps out with just a big brown sugary kind of sweetness, like sticky bourbon kind of sweetness, like toffee and caramel, just really richly decadent. Um, think a little bit like um, Imperial Biscotti Break if you're into that desserty kind of Imperial style. Very sweet. Sweet up front, surrounded by dark fruit, more of this kind of like dried plum, uh, raisiny kind of quality digging through. You get this kind of really rich chocolate in the middle, a little bit more roasted malt. I, I want to say the smoked malt, is uh, smoked barley is actually very subtle. You barely taste that. So yeah, it's really lots of dark fruit and rich caramel sweetness. And I just realized, I remember now, there's licorice in here. And you sort of get that kind of licorice kind of a bitterness accentuating more of that kind of roasted malt bitterness on the finish. Oh man, that is delicious. Wow, that is awesome. As for rating, again, this has got to be up there with some of the, uh, some of the best um, like bourbon barrel aged, but like sticky, sweet kind of dessert beers. Um, per, I mean, I'm glad I'm sharing this. This seems like a beer that you probably only want like four to five ounces of. It's just so, so, so decadent. I bet I'm no problem enjoying it. It's absolutely amazing. 100 out of 100. 100 minus out of 100. 100 minus out of 100. Um, this is absolutely phenomenal. Just really nice and sweet. Really just wonderfully balanced. The bourbon and the vanilla uh, jumps out as well. And it's just a, such a uh, complete beer with that wonderful sweetness. And again, the cinnamon and the licorice and the smoked barley actually really understating this beer, which is very nice. It just does everything so well. And again, it's very sweet. So again, it's more for the sweet tooth. Uh, but yeah, episode 900. Guys, that's insane. Uh, wow. Uh, thank you guys for, that have been sticking with me for so long. Thank you for new watcher, uh, new viewers. Um, it's been a wonderful journey. 900 uh, videos is just insane. Uh, seeing the subscriber count grow as well is absolutely insane. And uh, again, I can't thank you guys enough. And uh, again, I'm, I'm appreciating Matt's beer right now, but I appreciate you guys for watching and everyone else that has helped out the channel. Uh, I mean, I couldn't review so many amazing beers without you guys. And the support is incredible, the comments and everything. So thank you guys uh, really, really so, so, so much. So until next time, guys, cheers. Later.